வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் கோர்ஸ் ஆன் பயோமெடிக்கல் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்டேஷன் வி வர் லுக்கிங் அட் த பிளாக்ஸ் ஆஃப் அ ஜென்ரலைஸ்ட் மெஷர்மெண்ட் சிஸ்டம் நோ லெட்ஸ் லுக் அட் சம் ஆஃப் த கீ கேரக்டரிஸ்டிக்ஸ் ஆஃப் அ மெஷர்மெண்ட் சிஸ்டம் வாட் ஆர் திஸ் கீ கேரக்டரிஸ்டிக்ஸ் அண்ட் ஹவு கேன் வி கிளாசிஃபை திஸ் கேரக்டர்ஸ் தேர் ஆர் டூ மேஜர் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் கேரக்டரிஸ்டிக் ஒன் இஸ் அ ஸ்டாட்டிக் கேரக்டரிஸ்டிக் தி அதர் இஸ் அ டைனாமிக் கேரக்டரிஸ்டிக் what is a static characteristic this is a situation in which you are describing performance under what are otherwise constant inputs are slowly changing inputs that is what is slow and what is fast depends on the application let's assume you know what is slow and what is fast if your input is changing slowly then that is called as static characteristic and that characteristic that is used to describe that situation is called as a static characteristic let us look at some of the static characteristics the first of these is accuracy this is this describes how close you are to the measured value or the true value in many cases you actually don't know what the true value is now that's a different story but in case you know what the true value is or you have a, a rough estimate of what the true value is now how close you are your data is to the true value essentially is called as accuracy and it accounts for all types of errors both systematic errors and both and also random errors now if i know systematic error then i also know that then i also know ways through which i can remove this error because it's systematic and i can account for it usually it is expressed as a percentage of the full scale value so that means that that let's say i'm interested in measuring 100 units of something up to what unit of this phenomenon can i expect to measure with relative confidence and accuracy let's say it's a 10% accurate system means and let's say reading is say 30 the actual value can be on either side of 30 10 by 10% that's what it is now as this percentage reduces as this accuracy increases the percentage of the full scale value reduces as this happens as accuracy increases usually that this leads to an increase in cost and complexity of the system another related but different concept is the concept of precision this refers to the idea of repeatability how repeatable you are your measurements are how consistent your measurements are remember that you can have systems or values that are repeatable but not necessarily accurate that is you will you will have wrong values with relatively high consistency that is predictably wrong for example now that is a system that is precise but not accurate so these are related concepts but they don't refer to the same principle of the same concept these are two different but not unrelated concepts then you have the concept of linearity in this case you are interested in measuring how close you are to a straight line that is let's say i am systematically changing the input i am interested in measuring the output and as i am measuring the output if i plot the input output relationship i will get a straight line why is the straight line so important because it's easy to predict future values of outputs with an unknown input not just that if your output does not follow a straight line that means that there are the so called non linearities 
sometimes non linearities leads to complexities that that are somewhat difficult to account for that doesn't mean that non linear systems are not useful they are most real life physiological systems are not linear but we are still interested in making inferences using linear approaches now that's critical then there is sensitivity sensitivity essentially refers to how much change in the output is caused by a change in the input that is the ratio of the output change to an input change essentially a higher sensitivity means for a small change in the variation of the input i'm having a great change in the output now that means that i'm having high sensitivity then you have resolution which is essentially the smallest detectable change in the input that the system can identify that is what is the smallest value that you can measure with confidence or what is the smallest change that it can detect with confidence let us say you are having a system in which you are increasing the uh, the input and the output is also increasing and then you are decreasing the input and then the output is also decreasing but not in the same manner then you have a situation that is called as hysteresis which is essentially a manifestation of non linearity that is as i am plotting the input output curve there is a direction specificity to the input that is a given input may cause two different outputs depending on whether you are increasing the input or whether you are decreasing the input. that means i by looking at at an input i actually don't know where i am if in the input output curve leading to a situation in which i cannot predict what is happening so this is a something that is difficult to account for this is called as hysteresis then there is the concept of drift this is a situation in which i am giving a constant input and it causes an undesired change in the output that is i'm giving a constant pressure and then i'm releasing this pressure but then the sensor continues to measure some non zero pressure although the pressure itself is for example zero another related form of this drift is i'm placing a constant load for example and then my output continues to keep on increasing although the input is constant the output is output keeps on changing this is called drift this happens due to various reasons for example temperature changes due to you know how old the system is sometimes due to power fluctuations sometimes some systems and some measurement devices and some sensors and transducers by definition have this drift problem then you have the difficulty or the challenge of reproducibility that is let's say i'm measuring making a particular measurement on a particular day that is and i'm getting a i'm giving a particular input and i'm getting a particular output so i'm giving x input and i'm giving y output let's say tomorrow under what are otherwise identical conditions i'm giving the same x am i getting y by the way it is not possible for you to have the same identical conditions but let's assume that you have identical what are otherwise considered identical conditions i'm having an input and for otherwise identical input conditions i am having a different outputs that means that my system is not reproducible if in a situation where the conditions are identical and for a given input the output is always the same that means that my system is having reproducibility then there is the concept of threshold which is different from the solution this is the minimum input level that will produce the, the first measurable change in the output okay. this is called a threshold now with this we will end
this segment of the video. We'll continue in the next segment.